the CSIR ensures that products in the mining industry and beyond are safe and of high quality. For over eight years, mines manufacturers and users have relied on our technical expertise and testing facilities to adhere to legally mandated regulations and international standards, as well as for research and development. The Cortes No Laboratories are one of its kind. They are unique because in the country, the regulators, in this case, I'm talking about Department of Mineral Resources and Energy, rely on our results. We are the national assets in terms of the capacity that we can achieve on our machines, the type of tests that we can do, the type of skills that we also have on site here. They are unique. At the Core Tesla Labs, we've got three areas or three labs, namely self-contained self-rescues, and then we've got mechanical laboratory where we test mining supports, where we test safety hooks, and many other mechanical products which require tensile testing. And then we've got the rope lab where we test the steel winder ropes, and it's also a unique facility considering the amount of uh, the capacity of our machines. We've got the biggest in the country. The self-contained self-rescue, they are the only one in the country. They are probably the only one in the SADC region. Uh, that's where all the self-rescues are submitted for testing. One of our clients, Afrix, a local manufacturer, submit self-contained self-rescues at the CSIR for conformity assessment for each and every batch that is produced. These are rescue devices that miners carry underground. They carry them 100% of the time that they're on shift, so they carry it on their belts. And they are intended to provide them with oxygen in the event of an emergency where they can't breathe, and it takes them to a place of safety underground. It is important for Afrox to know how their units perform so that it assists them in terms of further research and development. And it is important for those products to show compliance, to show that they perform in accordance with the national standard, to show that they will be able to save the employees in case of emergency. We are pretty much joined at the hip to the level of testing that we require from the CSR. Yes, we've got facilities to do it ourselves, but we really need to have that independence that the industry seeks from us. We sample the units from the mines, bring them back to the CSIR, and then subject the units to the breathing simulator, which simulate the breathing of a human being. In that test, we monitor the oxygen levels, we monitor the temperature that is generated throughout the test, and we also look at what we call the breathing resistance, the difficulty of a human being to breathe from such a device. Once we have done the test, we will compile the test results, which we send back to the mine. We're a commercial enterprise. We make to order, we have tight deadlines, and we're really reliant on the CSR to be able to respond accordingly with their testing. There's now probably 300,000 in the industry of various types, um, which essentially protects all underground workers. We probably have several hundred used and escapes every single year, and certainly amongst those are lives that would have been lost if they hadn't been used. No other facility in South Africa that can test self-rescues. No other facility in South Africa that can test the steel winder ropes to the forces of 15 meganewtons. No other industry that can test thin wire conductor or electrical conductors that are 25 meter long. This facility is very important to South African economy because the work that is done here has an influence to how the policies are developed, how the zero harm is achieved at the mining industry, how the manufacturers do their research and development. Because without this facility, I'm telling you the industry will be nowhere.